Hey, what's going on guys? Go Games here. In this video, we're going to be writing a method responsible for a node selection. So without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. So the very first thing within our this one select method, we need to make sure that we're dealing with the non-terminal nodes. So uh, we need to say that we want to make sure that we're dealing with non-terminal nodes. And by saying non-terminal nodes, I mean, uh, that the, that the position, uh, the corresponding board instance containing the position, which is uh, the part of this node, uh, uh, node uh, a part of this node basically, to make sure that it's not a winning or drawing position. So it's whatever, but a non -one, not one position, not drawn position. So it's not, not terminal. And here uh, it, comes, uh, it comes a loop. So we, we need to say while well, not, uh, node dot is terminal and here uh, we may encounter two scenarios so the first scenario uh, we have the case uh, when a node is not fully expanded so this is the first case and the other case that would be the case where uh, where no where the node case where the node is actually fully expanded. Uh, sorry, first uh, when it is fully expanded and then when the node is not fully expanded. Okay, so the first case, uh, I just need to say if node dot is fully expanded uh, yeah, so the case when it is fully expanded, uh, that means that we can already use our get best, get best move method to get the best, uh, the most promising uh, child node from this parent node here, uh, using this UCD formula that we've implemented in the previous video. So uh, what we need to do here, we need simply to say node equals self dot get best get best move and literally it's going to select the best node and I'm passing the node as the first argument here and uh, in this case exploration constant would not would not be equal to zero anymore because we want to uh, increase the exploration rate here so I'm using this constant of two that is taken from the lecture by John Levin uh, on Monte Carlo research algorithm the link is available in the description in the very first video of this series so to give you an idea why this value is used here Okay, so this is the first case, and now the second case would it be to say else, and in this case we want to say return self dot self dot expand, and we want to expand the node. So the idea, so say otherwise expand expand the node. So the idea is very simple. So if the node is not fully expanded, that means that we can't actually uh, use this get best move because there is uh, there is some space for extending this node uh, still. So we need uh, to uh, instead we need to instead of returning the best move, we just want to return uh, the value that would be returned by this self extend node. So it would be creating a new node for us. Uh, expand nodes, so it would be creating new nodes. And the very last thing to consider within our select method, we just want to return node. And again, like this node would be either uh, the node that we're getting from uh, fully expanded nodes children or uh, uh, this newly expanded node. Uh, uh, or a new node that would be created by this expand function. So this is kind of it. And in the next video, we'll implement this expand method, which is a little bit more complicated this, the, compared to this select method. But anyway, it should be quite pretty self-explanatory. Well, okay, guys, this is it from my side. I hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next video in this series on uh, reinforcement learning in tic-tac-toe. Until that time, and take care.